We've made some very interesting discoveries, I think, with regard to what might be some of the most basic mechanisms underlying the Prader-Willi syndrome. And this has been obviously a mystery since the syndrome was first observed and described. It's not been possible to come to some basic inference with regard to the underlying or whether there even is an underlying fundamental mechanism. And I think we have the possibility of having identified such a mechanism. We found that a protein called prohormone convertase 1 is actually downregulated in people with Prader-Willi syndrome. And we also found that in a mouse model of Prader-Willi syndrome, there is evidence that this gene is downregulated as well, providing additional evidence in a whole animal model system. So the finding that PC1 is downregulated in neurons and a mouse model of Prader-Willi syndrome suggests that increasing the levels of PC1 may be therapeutically beneficial in Prader-Willi syndrome. That's been extraordinarily exciting, not just because of its relevance to Prader-Willi syndrome, but because of its more general relevance to how body weight is regulated. So with cautious optimism and the caveat that things that we see in the dish and in mice don't always translate to humans, the prediction would be that doing so may mitigate hyperphagia and in doing so may cause weight loss. Um, and this also could correct some of the hormonal imbalances, um, including potentially growth hormone, insulin levels, um, gonadotropin axis, and potentially a few others as well. So without grant support from the FPWR, there's no way that we could have made the progress that we've made. And it goes well beyond providing the dollar resources to do this. I think the inspiration from the families is worth many, many dollars in terms of the impact that it has on people like me. When we actually see how committed families are and how much they want to encourage us to do the work that we're doing, this is very important.